Hello, everyone. It is Monday night, so that means it's time for a little bit of a Resolary the Colors Art Chronicles. I'm Melissa. I'll be your DM for the evening. And with me, as always, are most of my wonderful players. Say hi, wonderful players. Hi. Most of us. We, we are unfortunately- Hello from most of us. <laughs> uh, unfortunately missing Patsy tonight, but we shall carry on. That'll be great. Carry we can on. Pour one out for Patsy. So. Oh my God. True. And now we're a, an SPN fandom. No. <laughs> Where's our Impala? Oh. <laughs> when you so. said SPN, I thought you said SMP, and I was like, I still don't know what SMP is, guys. <laughs> I am not sure, other than I know they play Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> was not aware that was an acronym. Mm, nope, me either. Okay, anyways. We I have was like, I'll get inside. into this, but I couldn't figure out what it was. <laughs> we have so things and such. So, announcements. Um, Wednesday, we have the first... Oh my gosh, my light is super dark. Why is it so dark? There we go. Hey, look, you can see me kind of now. Um, there you are. There I am. I have arrived. Hi, everyone. Uh, we have, have the first <laughs> first session <Sus>. of our <laughs> two shots uh, in Dev's homebrew world. Aeopolis. Yes, I can say it. It's fine, everything is fine. Uh, and we're gonna have a good time, so come watch that. Mm. Um, we will be back here both next week and the week after, even though it's the day after holiday, because I have a lot of time off for more, and I can get things ready, so it'll be great. So come back here for uh, Rise of the Ray, the next, well, can, always Mondays, but even though it's weird because holidays, still playing, it's great. Um, and the most recent episode of Dungeon Sphere will be premiering on YouTube tomorrow. We are all caught up with Dungeon Sphere, which means that all of the backlog for Res Ray will be coming up fast and quick, and then we'll be all caught up and we'll, oh my gosh, it's gonna be great. Um, oh, and I was thinking at some point this week, I'm going to edit the holiday special we did last year run by Wyatt. Oh my God. I forgot about that one. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> premiere that on Christmas. I thought that might be fun. Uh, on our YouTube channel, which is now linked. Look at me on top of things this week. Um, I think that's it for announcements though. Yes? Yes? Okay. Cool. So, let's jump into Res Lorraine, the Color Guard Chronicles. Previously, after clearing Yornhilfen of its immediate threat, the Glitter Bombs decided to rescue Owen, Katrine and Polly's son, before dealing with Aunt Sally, the hag that caused Zenus to be split into two different people. Ah. Uh, to get to Owen faster, you decided to buy horses from Brock, the half horse orc. Why can't I never say that on the first try? The half orc, yep, at the stable and acquired five horses for your travels since Max had been borrowed by Doran. Uh, heading toward the Owen mark on your map, uh, a familiar feeling hit Zenas and Glimmer, one not felt since they were in the Feywild. This forest had been touched by a hag. The once clear skies filled with fog, leaves died and fell from twisted and broken branches, darkened by some unseen force, and the stench of a familiar foe permeated the air. Continuing to follow the map, you came across an odd field made of a substance similar to vinyl, though the deadly clowns that emerged when you stepped onto it belied the docile seeming nature. Uh, making your way mostly unharmed uh, over the massive field via bamfing or flying, uh, the Glitter Bombs found themselves in a decrepit playground, but the equipment demanded play from three of you. After conquering the slide, Jungle Gym, Sandbox, Merry-Go-Round, and Swing, Caster entered the dilapidated playhouse and found the missing Owen, singing to himself and saying, Not Sally told me to stay here. And that is where we pick up today. So, you have Owen with you. 
and he looks up and says, Are you the mean champions? I have no idea what she said, small child. <laughs> Aunt Sally said, Hmm. Hmm. She said, Yeah. How did, oh. Just how did Baba Polly tell me to remember stuff? No, oh. none of those were words either. <laughs> she said, oh, a Sally said, Beatty's champions ruined my plans last time, but I know what he did wrong because of them. So are you saying that the woman who kidnapped you? Oh, oh, Bamenius. You're saying that the woman who kidnapped you and held you prisoner in a creepy little playground is someone who you think you you should follow the opinion of she gave me candy i could give you candy (laughs) but that is not a good establishment of a role figure role model individual what no wonder you got kidnapped what see this is why it's easy to kidnap children (laughs) (laughs) let's see Wait, okay. your wife did not teach her her son Thanks not God. to take candy from strangers and wanders off with elderly Zenas. <laughs> I don't care whose child it is. Your your wife has been with this woman for an indeterminate amount of time. You should seriously speak with your children about wandering off with strangers uh, who Zenas. have candy. Well, <laughs> and when 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 you say Katrine's name, he looks like is my mom could be okay. Auntie Sally said it. Uh, I say it here, it'll be okay. Zenus will <laughs> yeah, Zenus will kneel down as he's talking and just. I'm like, holding the kid up. <laughs> he gets. I have off. not dropped the child yet. <laughs> I've got. Right. We've established. There's Pip under one arm, the kid under the other. <laughs> Regardless, Zena, while Caster is talking in front of the child about how his parents didn't do a good job, um, <laughs> Zenus is going to try and actually connect with him. Um, and uh, be like, your mom will be fine. We worked with her. We have a safe. And I guess, yes, technically we are the Meanies champions, though a couple of us are rather new additions. And I am... I guess I'm technically the, still the same, aren't I? Yes, you're still the same. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Point is... sweating. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, to you, you'll, you're in good hands. We'll get you back home to your mom soon. But Aunt Sally said she gave my mom some stuff so that I would be a good distractor. Right. Well, we kind of resolved any of that stuff that Aunt Sally maybe used to make you a distraction or some other things. So, but I think we got everything taken care of. So you should be fine. He kind of has sort of wrapped himself around Caster, like, like Caster, you, you had him under your arm and he has wriggled around and is now fully like wrapped himself around your neck. Well, let's go then, he says. All right. And you all start heading out the uh, playground equipment that had been looming large and fully intact when you came has now crumbled as rusty and broken and falling apart as you um, pass through it again. Uh, Making your way toward excuse me the um, field where those clowns were you see several gaping holes in the ground, but as you get closer, the uh, the grass is no longer, or the, it's no longer 
the smooth surface, it is grass again. Like the enchantments worn off. Mm -hmm. I do that thing, you know, like when you like dip your toe into the pool to see like the temperature. I'm like just like very gently like towing the grass. <laughs> you step into firm ground, dirt beneath your foot. Cool. It's good to go. You see, you see about a football field's length away. Um, your horse is still yeah. chilling. Calypso. 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 I go running to my horse. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And you all find uh, your horses Calypso, Rosie, Orchid, Maestro, and Buster. I was waiting for you. What would you like to do? I was not going to guess Buster. <laughs> it was not on the list of names I would have thought. Um, Zenus would have sent uh, his familiar uh, Shifra over mm. to play with Owen. Mm. Or yeah, just distract is, him. Yeah, he definitely seems like he needs a distraction at this moment. I bend over until the kid falls off. <laughs> before I get on my horse. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And I bend over and like wait for the kid to like... He's like he's like head. hanging for a second until finally he loses his grip and is on the and lands on the ground. Uh, All right, Pip, I'll, you take him. I'll pick him up by the scruff like a like a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> he does not need to sleep. Nope, time for you to be a dad. No, I no, <laughs> I'm like holding on to him. I'm like no. <laughs> He will sit with me. No, I, we've not seen your role model. I give him a cookie. Oh, and sit with me. No, it's time for <laughs> Pip to take some responsibility in his life. I'm not putting the livelihood of a child into Pipperin's hands. That's like the point. Threatened him with a sleeping dart. It, I think this will be a, a formative experience for the both of them. Why don't we start small with, like, a plant? The plant no. that he has not seen the light of day since he put it into the fanny pack. Throw, no. <laughs> it's time to throw the child into the deep end and he'll learn to swim with a role model no. with or without. Is that no, I've got like a vice grip on all. <laughs> no. <laughs> raised you, Castor? Just threw yes. you into random such. That explains yes. a fair amount of information about you. What, did you think my, my, my mother coddled me? Like I was a I'm just saying, coddling sometimes, it isn't necessarily coddling as much as it is, like, acknowledging the feelings of the child and, you know, raising them in community with one another. I mean, the fabian, She was I mean, a warrior, and it was an important experience to learn. That you're only a warrior in life, and you have no other yes. capabilities outside of it? Yes. Wow, what a dull existence. That's also not necessarily healthy. What? Okay, I know enough. <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad you had a family business. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, yeah, it's Owen time is... <laughs> for you to learn how to be better than your parents were, Pipperin. No, Castor like reaches over for the kid and Glimmer's like, no, no. It is time. No. At this point, Owen is like, has your he head in his hands and is looking at the amethyst. Yes, look at the, look at the facets, child. Here's a cookie. He is Glimmer, that's mesmerized. A, not your child, you can't give it to cookies. <laughs> I can. You want to give I'm, it to Pipperin? Yeah, he'll learn important life lessons. No. Yes. Now is the time no, to learn isn't. life lessons. This, this is literally the worst time. Now is the time. He's away from his parents. It's a good time to start learning things. Listen, if you give the child to Pipperin, he'll learn to never trust any stranger ever. Or he I'm good. He, I'm good. Owen says. I, you I, have no say in this. <laughs> the adults are talking. No, the child I, always has a say. 
Aunt Sally seemed nice up closer. She gave me cookies, but that was very sad. And now you've trust Glimmer, this strange rock woman who just also gave you a cookie. Have you learned She's nothing, child? In her head. That does not count. Yes, it does. It does not. No, does. that just means you should run faster. Oh, this woman God. is obviously shoving rocks into the side of her head. <laughs> Kiss her. <laughs> yes. Well, exchange. Sally's poison. <laughs> and you guys climb up on your horses and start making your way back uh, to town. Who's ever in the lead? I assume Caster. Might as well. Give me a survival check to see how well you can make it back to town. Because your the map doesn't actually have town on it. I assume we would just go back the way we came. This wood is creepy crazy. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Uh you do make your way back to town. It takes about twice as long to get back to town as it did getting to Owen. Um, things seem to have moved around a little bit. Weird. Um, so it is probably about mid-afternoon at this point, and as you, uh, crest over a hill, Jorn Hilfen comes into view. Uh, the city walls, uh, towering into the sky with the archway, uh, opening, uh, in, and as you, uh, walk through... You hear a uh, familiar voice. Hi, I'm Dan, the directional assisting navigator. Where would you like to go today? I, yeah, we flip Dan off and we keep walking. <laughs> Dan is literally a signpost, guys. Yeah, and we hate him. <laughs> uh, Maybe we just need Owen to teach us how to use it. A tech Zenus, savvy child. Zena's <laughs> plots like puts in like Polly and Katrine's house and then directions to like the nearest like bakery or candy store that's nearby it. At Dan says uh oh actually let me double check and make sure that I remember what the zone or the word they live in is actually called because the they have a in a hot sack. Do they live in the shimmer ward or do they live in the tangles? They live in the tangles. <laughs> It looks like you want to go to the Tangles. The candy shop in the Tangles is uh, called. Uh, oh god! Oh god! Let's see. Uh, sweets and things, and it is located blah, here and gives you directions. Uh, uh, the. Uh, it is approximately four blocks away from uh, the resident of Polly and Kachin. Uh, last name that I have written down somewhere. Mm -hmm. on. Well, Zenus just jots that down and kind of like looks at it, makes a note, and will follow the rest of the group, or he'll mm -hmm. catch up to the rest of the group. I have it written down somewhere now. Makes me... Let's see if I can find it. I want to say Haymark, but I think that's the last name of somebody I went to school with whose name is also Katrine. <laughs> Whoops. Is it in this one? Uh, oh. Uh, it, uh, the household of... I have it written down. Pollyanna Bling... Building Way, Sprig Drop, Hearthenberry the Third, and Katrine Norris. You couldn't remember that off the top of your head? <laughs> no, I wonder why. It's 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 a mystery. <laughs> it's a mystery. But he does say uh Norzai, N-O-O-R-Z-A-I for Katrine. N-O-R. N-O-O-R-Z-A-I. Norzai. Just for funsies. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he gives you uh, directions. And you just, as, as you're uh, heading away from uh, Dan, Owen says, thanks, Dan. And you all head to uh, Sweets and Things. Oh, Zenas would, I mean, Mm -hmm. I, don't, I mean, he'd probably, like, peel out from the group just to, like, go grab, like, a little something, like a giant lollipop or something else from Sweets and Things, and then arrive a couple minutes after the rest of the group does to Sounds Colleen and Katrine. Just a little, a little thing a little that thing, rot yeah. the kid's teeth. The, <laughs> the problem is that he was stolen away by strangers with candy and we have now presented ourselves once more as strangers with candy i'm buying candy to give candy to his was parents bad, and giving him the candy was additional after that not connected to the fact that he came with well us. now we have conditioned him that you will get candy from strangers as well, well so we but... have once more untaught a lesson to a child <laughs> I think we should be nowhere near any children ever. That is probably fair. <laughs> so let's dump the kid off and have nothing more to do with it. Uh, not if you want the poison. <laughs> you have to confront your fe fears, Piperine. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, but soon enough, you make it to Polly and Katrine's house. What are, are, are you knocking on the door or what, what are you doing? Yeah, I guess well, I guess if Zenus isn't with us, uh, Piperin, are you willing to speak to your ex-wife or no? Okay, you're up. <laughs> you figured it out? As you walk past from the window to the door, I hand you a cookie. <laughs> Good people. <laughs> uh, and soon enough, uh, Katrine uh, comes to the door. <gasps> you have Owen. And she, the door flings open and Owen and her run together. Big hug. Thank you so much for rescuing him. Um, yes, it's fine. Give me, and she, like, takes Owen in, but she leaves you guys on the front step. Um, and a moment later comes back with, uh, this very black, uh, velvet bag. Oh, it is so fancy. Uh, stone vein poison. And this one, if they eat it, is when it's lethal, right? No. Uh, no, Inject, eating, yeah. eating it is uh, a 1d4 plus 1 health potion, but right. directly into the blood is deadly. Okay, yeah, so that's staying with Peeper in for sure then. <laughs> and at this point, Zenus uh, comes back with the candy. He got just like a little like um like a little goodie bag of like mm -hmm. random yes. sweet treats and just gives it to Katrine just says I don't necessarily know if you'd like it but he's kind of had a rough couple of days I Candy always cheered me up as a kid I don't know if you do that but just a little token of something She just looks at each of you in turn. Thank you so much. Of course. Oh, it, it was really nice meeting you, Katrine. Stay it was safe. nice to meet you. Take uh, you and Owen and uh, Miss Polly. Take care. 
You see Owen waving at you from the door as she closes it. Um, why? Does Zena still have the earpiece? Yeah. I think you would. Uh, I think what, when you got into town, it sort of reactivated. Ooh. And you hear two unknown assailants and then a very questioning bipedal frogs? What? Uh, and uh, uh, report to Addie Stonekeg uh, for assignments. To Captain Addie Stonekeg for assignments. What would you guys so, like to do? Sounds like there's a couple of bad people frogs that are that, that maybe made some sort of attack in town. I don't know what. Does it sound like fate trickery, Zenus? I mean. Does it sound like another distraction? Aren't we supposed to be going after your hag? But if this is in tandem with the hag, then it perhaps is worth looking out in case they're wreaking havoc upon the town. Could Zenus, like, is there a check Zenus could make to see if, like, that description would be anything he would remember? Give me a history check. Thank God. Um, uh, 25. 25. Thank God I had advantage. That's, uh... Oh, because you still a Hawaiian? Yeah, um, the other one was an at one. Uh... Oof. <laughs> Oof. As Oof. as you're as you're saying bipedal frogs, you say Halanian flips open to um a page that just says Banderhob on it. Banderhob? Yes. Hmm. Um and there is a little illustration of um, a like caricature of a hag doing a summoning ritual, uh, and uh, creating this creature. Um, to uh, and sending it off to acquire people. Uh, Zenus will just show the oh to the rest of the team. It's like, oh, that needs to die immediately. I <laughs> think it may, I mean, assuming we have a hag. On our hands, it seems like Aunt Sally could probably have made this. Is that an arm in its mouth? Yeah. I vote we kill it. I end up. <laughs> what are you guys going to do? The mayor is quite generous. <laughs> we could at least check it out and see if the town's guard has it under control. <laughs> well, that's a good... Eh, how am I doing? <laughs> Are we injured? Zenith uh, is, but... I'm like, okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Ish. Which is new. <laughs> Usually I'm doing very much not okay. (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, so are you guys, what are you guys doing? Are you taking a short rest? Are you... Oh, hey. So are you going to the, to go see Addy then? Addy Stonecake? Yeah, I think Zenas okay. would, in his earpiece, just assuming that Addy Stonecake also has one, I think, mm-hmm. um, just said that, um, uh, Glitterbansia, we're on our way over. We can help with this. Okay. So you guys, uh, head, uh, to the town guard house or, uh, building and, um, there are, uh, uh, several, uh, different group, uh, groups of guards, uh, getting direction, uh, from Addy. Um, and as you guys walk up, uh, she says, you are the ones that, um, saved the mayor, yes? Yes, we are. That sure is us. So, I think you're, you're aware of the situation where there was two missing girls, yes? Oh, no. Uh, uh, that would be correct. She says, well, uh, Edlin Silverpass, her father is missing. And Gwendolyn Hundu, her mother is missing. Taken by what was described as giant bipedal frogs. Do you That's think that the girls... Are the frogs? I don't know. Well, she does now. (laughs) (laughs) But we're thinking if we get those girls back, perhaps, perhaps they they were taken. No. <laughs> yeah. It's tight. They w- Emo- ah. Emotional support titties. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps they would, um... If the, the girls are the ones missing, perhaps... They were taken to the girls? I don't know. I mean, there's a chance they could probably do use them for some sort of ritual of some of them, but it seems odd that it's too targeted to be something not... It, it's... There's no way this would be random chance. No, it's very odd. Uh, she says, they came in the shadows, they left in the shadows. It was the oddest thing. My, my gods that were uh... Nia, due to the fact that the girls were missing already, said it was as if they stepped in from the shadows. And was that just earlier today? Uh, the girls figure out being missing was found out yesterday. Because... Right. Of the thing lifting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we thought they had been missing for a little while. Mm-hmm. Give me you and uh, Zenas and Glimmer can give me another history check. There we are. We're back now. But Celia's reading all up on Vanderhobs now, right now. <laughs> My int's not great, and neither is getting a nap one. No. My int's on fall. Yeah. I was just born the same magic. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you just can do a history check, too. Uh, that is a 19. Zenus uh, would recall uh, the ritual that Aunt Sally was attempting to do in the Feywild. 
with two girls and uh, had the slods kill the, or had them kill the slods, or the slods kill, I don't know. They had, had the slods kill the hags. That's what it was. I was, the, the other two hags. Like some sort of ritual. My internet cut out in the middle of that. Okay. Oh, uh, Zenas would remember that yeah. Aunt Sally had the slots kill, that had those slots that she had kill the hags for some sort of ritual. But then uh, we also had Owen say that she said, I know what I did wrong because of them, i.e., you guys. It looks like she's doing the same ritual. Yeah, I mean, she's using humanoid blood instead of uh, whatever the slog beings that they were originally. Probably has some intricacies with the ritual in order to make them something and to transform the girls into hags, I think. Um, so we need to keep these bender hopes from killing the parents because that will fulfill the ritual? More than likely. I mean, if they lose a tether to their connection as, I mean, people to this plane, I mean, it makes it easier for them to transform. And I think eggs. Then we have no time to waste. We have to go. Yes, indeed. And you guys head out then? Yeah. Um, I will... You have. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm just going to. I realized I didn't say it. Um, I'm going to take the. Um, potion of greater healing that I have since I didn't do that earlier. Cool, cool, cool. You do that thing. Um, and uh, as you attune the map to Aunt Sally because you have that lock of her hair or you flip it to Aunt Sally because you had tuned it to her previously. Uh, you head out on uh, your horses toward toward the Aunt Sally location. Um, as you are going, give me perception check. I hold silver. Nine. Twenty-two. Only a fourteen. Oh my gosh, those are uh, eight. Eight. So <laughs> Glimmer notices first. As you head out of town, um, the air getting stale, the trees growing twisted, and suddenly you notice a weird something in one of the trees. Can I tell what it is? Uh, as you get closer, uh, it looks like a stick figure. And as you look at it, it's got purple fluff all over it. Not, and as you look closer, it looks almost like rock, except for it's not just on your head. It's all over the entire body. And as you look further in the tree, you see another stick figure. Uh, one that's fiery red with a broken staff at its feet. You see one that's a horned figure with arms at an odd angle, missing the bottom portion of its face with withered cherry blossoms strewn about it. Oh, you, no. see, you see a small figure 
with a little uh, crossbow broken to pieces, uh, other nondescript figures facing away. You see a uh, final form with long ears and a, and a second similar form broken at its feet, clearly by the first form. Wait, the rock one broke the last one? No. No, the, the last one had a second figure broken. That looked very oddly similar to it. Oh, shit. I... This is bad. I... Can I, like, take a quick look around and see how everybody's weapons are currently looking? Normal? Like, your, your actual weapons? Normal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna message, I guess, Zenus to start with, and I'm just gonna direct him to look at each of the figures and just tell him there's one of each of us. Wonderful. That's not disconcerting at all. That's... What the fuck is wrong with this... Heck, I swear, I've never met such an unpleasant being in my entire life and two planes of existence that I have lived upon. And hopefully after this encounter, we will not have to meet her again. <laughs> oh. And as, as you're standing there, you just hear this. <laughs> Stop listening to my thoughts, you creepy bitch. Yeah, <laughs> bitch pervert. <laughs> <laughs> you each pervert! Zenus just shakes his staff at her. <laughs> Old man yells out lawn. Get off my lawn! <laughs> Get out of my brain! <laughs> There's already enough voices in here, and I don't need yours. <laughs> do you do anything with these, or do you just continue on? Um, or can do I do like an insight check on them? Mm -hmm. What are you? What are you trying to insight? I guess like, are they hostile? Like, are they doing anything? No, they're just. I uh, think Blair Witch Project. I've never seen that. I'm sorry. They're just, they're yourself. just basic, just wooden fetishes, basically. Okay. Uh, it's not like they're just representations of like mm -hmm. us and like okay they don't seem to be carrying any like magic signatures with any of them no just um yeah i guess like knows that it would freak us out do we hear mm -hmm. any croaking any croaking no Let's keep going. Okay. Is this the first time you've had a had a threat against your life using stick figure stick dolls? You don't think this is creepy? Yeah. <laughs> Have you? It's is this not block. your first time? <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo. It's my second. <laughs> I've been around the block. All I'm saying is that. All right. In well, the what do then? All right, Mister uh, knows about the fetishes. What do we do? Has you... Caster seen these? Did you guys point it out to Caster? Yeah, I think after mentioning it to Zenus, I would have pointed it out to the rest of the party. Uh, Caster goes over the one that is clearly them, and their twit instead of like rips it down and starts stomping on it. Hey, will you grab mine? I just want to keep it. No one's made something in my likeness in a long time. You don't want me to touch any of these. Right. Because I will crush it. All right. So I go back to stomping on my own. Zenus will, Zenus will take I just can't reach and it. it to him. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in my pocket. Actually, I walk over to Glimmer and I put it in the pin bag. <laughs> 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 that feels worse. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, and as Caster, as you are stomping on one that represents you you he, you the, the laughter gets gets louder <laughs> uh, 
All I'm saying is that they're just there as a warning or as like something to tour with us, so the best plan of action is just to kind of move on. This is true. We just need to. Uh, what if we. Uh, what is this song? Did we sow your fears away? From King and I? That scroll? The, the oh. play? Oh. <laughs> Are you afraid? The sticks? Well. And these sticks are creepy. I don't think I'm wrong for thinking that. Anywho, and, let's just and... proceed. What did they say the uh, bander slobs are? I mean, assuming they'd be probably back near the hag. So, I mean, as long as we go in the direction of wherever she is on the map. But they appeared in the shadows, so I'd keep watching out. Do we have any way? Glimmer's got Suri Estava and just like, yeah. As lights. as you're as you're walking with Suri Estava, you start to see spider webs oh, fuck in the tree, no. and as you're about to whip it down with Suri Estava, you notice that it has letters on it. And you see, welcome, and then finally. And lastly, so sorry. I'm lighting I am lighting my lantern while you're reading this. I don't know if it's dark or not, but I don't want any shadows. As these uh uh spider webs or these webs are spelling out words a la Charlotte's web. Hey, how do we <laughs> feel about burning the sign? You can do whatever. I got them mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna firebolt at the web. Uh yeah, it vanishes from existence. I love to like these hay. Good job, you killed a spider. I, what did you do, Peeperine? My best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I snapped at you. <laughs> um, continuing on. Uh, you spot a familiar uh, heron at the side of the road with a um, another uh, uh, urn on top of it. Another what you say? Urn. Urn. Urn or Didn't cairn? We broke the last one, there's, right? There's oh, a cairn. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. a cairn with an urn on top of it. Oh. Cairn urn. Oh, I break it. Does it have the eyes on it again? Uh, it does not have an eye. Oh, well, let's see. I was talking about these things. I have to pull out Volos, which is hiding somewhere. Way at the bottom of my stack. I guess I have to go into TNT Beyond. Hold on one minute. Got it. You find inside. This table is entirely too big. Okay, here we go. Job. There we go. You find, as it, as it cracks open, a perfectly round stone that begins rolling like on a downhill plane or on its own uh just on its own just rolls up into the air just no just like on the ground it's rolling in a in a straight line in a direction can i pick it up uh as you pick it up 
it is pulling, it feels like it's pulling in a uh, direction. Do we follow the weird sphere? Yeah, why not? All right, we are following the weird sphere. How's the map reacting? Is on uh, starting are, to get bigger? I was getting bigger, but as you follow the rock, it stays the same or gets smaller. Oh. Uh, and no. <laughs> and as 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 you're as you're following it shortly, it um uh stops at there's a little creek running and it stops pulling. Oh, it's attracted the water. It's do we drop it in? Water. Do we drop it into the water? No. No. Oh. No. Right. We keep I like it. holding it. Oh. We keep it because that's useful. Give it to me. Okay, here you are. Rolling stones. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Let's, let's follow the map. To the hunt. <laughs> that's what you got. Um. So you continue onward uh for a little while give me perception checks again just curious another nine uh, another 14. <laughs> exact same roll another 22. <laughs> <laughs> i got a 16. uh Zenus and glimmer you're the first to notice that all of the animal sounds stopped when you had entered this place, but suddenly you hear something uh, coming toward you. Uh, and I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative. <gasps> uh, circle up, circle up. Bring them out, bring them out. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> and, so oh, where'd my thing go? Where are we? <laughs> I like the map. this open at one point. Oh, I have it. I have it. As you see um, I remember this place. Yeah, I just reused this map because it's to put the link after. As you see to Giant snakes. Snakes. Snake. Snake. <laughs> I, I mean, they're just snakes, Stop man. Snake. <laughs> just walk around them. I see. Oh, oh. <laughs> Big snake. It's like, oh, I see it. <laughs> Two <laughs> giant snakes come slithering out, and you see they are like wrapped in this uh, flexible, uh, like branch that is going in, like coming out of their mouth and wrapping around their bodies, and like. Uh, their eyes are glowing uh, this very unnatural color. Um, and we'll drop Sulia in the back. Okay, I 100% clicked.
Well, apparently I had to sleep instead of Sulia. That's fun. Okay. As these snakes come out of the tree, Glimmer, you are first to act. All right. Uh, I I am going to just hit it with a firebolt to start with. And there's one up here and one over here. Okay, I'm going to hit this one with a firebolt. Hmm? That is a 24 to hit. That'll hit. For... Seven damage. Ooh. And it was cantrip, so no surge. Beautiful. Then... It is a snake's turn. And... This one's going to go towards Glimmer, because... Because he is a rude boy. Man, snake is minding its own business, man. <laughs> I have not a lot of fears, but there is one fear that I have above all else, and that is snakes being swallowed by a giant snake. <laughs> well, time to face your fears, fear friends. You I was are... at the pet co today, and they had some really cute snakes. I love their little puppy dog faces. Oh. And this other one also, is going to come. they had the world's best chameleon. Wow, he I was really moving it. Been moving. Okay, so uh, this first one is going to attempt to constrict Glimmer. Okay. Get a 25 to hit. Yeah. Rip. Oh, oh my. That is almost max damage. 19 damage and Glimmer is constricted. You're right there. Bam, right in the middle. Well, say goodbye to Glimmer. <laughs> uh, the second one is going to do the s- attempt to do the same to Caster and get a 13 to hit. 13 does not hit. You couldn't hit that one on me and I could have hit it with my bumper shoot? <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then this caster's turn. I don't really feel like fighting snake. Oh, wait. Is it still today? It is. Um. Um. Uh... Does anyone remember if Sulia still has her teleports with Pyre? I know I know they used at least one. That's not a recharge thing. That's just an abil- uh, feature. Well, can you can only, it has you to can have wild summon. shapes to summon it. Oh, yeah, you do need wild shapes to summon it. So she does not know. Oh, all right. Guess we're going to roll the dice. These snakes do seem like they are on a mission. Jerk wads. Does that work on other creatures? No, just as you. All right. I don't want to, but I'll hurt the snakes. It feels like episode one of the Dungeon Sphere. Mm. <laughs> All right, I rage. Nothing personal, snakes, but you do have my rock wife. I love you when you're angry. Oh. <laughs> I teleport. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space you can see. I can teleport as a bonus action. <laughs> I teleport What's behind it? it. It's nothing personnel snakes teleports behind him. You're just having like a Naruto moment. Yeah, I hate fighting animals. It's the worst part of D&D. Uh, ugh. 
19. 19 will hit. Okay. Oh, that is max damage. Woo! <laughs> How much is my damage? Uh, t- 19 points of damage is my max. And I do that. Give me a perception I- check. You can give me a perception check. Crit! 26. Ooh. As you are, as you are hitting this snake and looking at it, it scales. While normally they are bright and colorful, these are gray and mottled and almost look like they're falling off the the thing. This snake might not be alive. Oh, well, you found a snake with leprosy. <laughs> so I rolled to hit again mm-hmm. with advantage. Oh, no. For, um, reckless. Reckless. It's two ones. Oh, two no. Two ones. I do not hit. Wait, is oh. Caster a halfling? No, <laughs> Caster's not a halfling. <laughs> Can has Caster be a halfling? <laughs> that's fucking wild, bro. Okay, yeah, that's... I, that's I teleport, I hit, and then I throw my sword. <laughs> Only if you want to. Um, anything else for Caster? Oh, that's my turn. Uh, Zenus. Okay. So, Glamour is gr- grappled by whatever mm-hmm. one is in there. Um, I... Is there a good way to get both? Actually, there might be. Um, what is the range on this thing? Okay, so that's... Um, I'm going to cast Shatter. Mm-hmm. It's in a 10 foot radius. I'm going to try and get it. If I get it there. Yeah, you'd hit both of them. Watch where you're hiding that thing. Wait, am I back now? Yes. Yay. You would hit, you would hit both of them. With, I'd hit with both that. of them. Okay. Um, and that would avoid hitting Glimmer, I think. Yep. Great. I will cast it on that. Uh, just second level shatter right there. And I need that con saves from both of them. Saves. Wriggling yeah. away from it. Uh, uh, these... Seven for left and 15 for the right. Neither pass. Neat. Um, so. Okay. Um, 17 thunder damage to both of us. And, um, oh, okay, so it is an inorganic material on any of them. No, it's, they've been, it. You said, like, they're wrapped around, like, sticks or something, or, like, a branch? Yeah, like, a stick is coming out of their mouth, and, like, it's wrapped around them. Oh. Like a bridle? Like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, it's, uh, we're, it's, it's acting as, like, an exoskeleton. Ooh, oh, ew. that's fun. Um, uh, bonus action, I will inspire Glimmer to um, hopefully break out of whatever is. <laughs> that's a plus eight? Or uh, yeah, D8. D8. Yep. D8, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Anything else for Cenus? Uh, no, I think I'll just take a step back or a couple steps back over here. Okay. Uh, Sulia, I don't want to use up all of Sulia's stuff and such. Uh, yeah, we'll probably take a long rest after this. Oh, wait, no, we yeah. won't. Not after the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> totally. In a creepy forest? Absolutely. So Sulia is going to come here, I think, and cast Burning Hands. Right. To hit both of them. Which is two deck saves. Uh, 19 for left and four for right. So, first one <clears throat> saves, but the second one does not. 
four, six damage and 13 damage. The one that has Glimmer is not looking great. Rip Glimmer. Um, and... Do, 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 do. That is all that Suli is going to do, and then it's Pip Rin's turn. Oh, Sui is also going to back up the back. Oh, okay. Uh, so, Glimmer, you're a little tied up at the moment? A little bit. Alright. I'm gonna do what I do best. And I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> well, you're right there, so I get some sneak attack. I hit. That's a natural one. I'm a halfling. That's another one. No. <laughs> oh no! Damn. Really wow. going around <laughs> today. I am using a lucky point. <laughs> Do you? You don't get it's a two. advantage. No. Oh no! What? <laughs> what's your? What's your? What's your plus? What's your plus to hit? Seven. So it's an eight or a nine. No, that would hit a regular zombie. Um, well, I hate everything. <laughs> you did your best. <laughs> what did you do, Pip? <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, no, I'm gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Is this a okay, tree? Bye. <laughs> yes. It's, it's gnarled, um, and it doesn't actually have leaves like it does in the picture. Like, Can I hide map. where I'm at? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna hide as a bonus action. Oh, dokey. Uh, I'm gonna pull up my camouflage hood. Oh my gosh. I rolled an advantage and I rolled a two and a three. Oh, <laughs> Get the bad rolls out now. now. Get them one, out now. One, two, <laughs> two, three. So that is a total of 12. Get new dice. 12, you feel like uh, the uh, one on the left has uh, eyes on you. One on the left, okay. Mm -hmm. That's got a, It's got a passive perception of 12, so. <laughs> uh, and then we are to Glimmer. Glimmer's accepted her fate. She's doing the Britney Spears Python performance yeah <laughs> 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 uh, no she'll uh shock and grasp it because we can't do ranged attacks cool what is it it is gonna be a dirty 20 to hit okay so restrained is creatures attack rolls have disadvantage damn it Disadvantage would be a 23. So 20. So you do hit. So how much damage? Six lightning. Six lightning. As you expand, or the, the shock expands out from you, you feel the uh, stick inside uh, wrapped around it crumble, and the snake... Uh, falls again dead to the ground and you can clearly see uh once once the stick has crumbled out that this st snake was being animated by that stick pull out the stick okay oh dang it dang it dang it dang it i did the wrong thing and turn goes there okay anything else for Glimmer. I will move 5, 10, 15, 20 over here. Cool. Last, or second snake, uh, was mostly damaged. Let's see. 
So it was the Burning Hands from Sulia, and it was the sh uh, Shatter. So I don't think it would know that Shatter, mm. but Zenus is right there, so. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> Does a 15 hit? No. No, okay. Armor class is 16 with mage armor. Ooh. Noise. <laughs> yeah, you see this thing try and wrap itself around you and you manage to um I, I could tar smash it yeah. away. <laughs> yes. And then we are to caster. Guess I'll just go hit the other one. Ambulance outside my apartment. Front row. I oh, for you, right? Wow. Teleport. <laughs> <laughs> Depending oh. on how this fight goes, could be. <laughs> <laughs> um, 23. 23 will hit. That's 17 points of damage on the first hit. Nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, two sevens on the dice for a uh, 15. Will hit. It's going to be a two. Eight plus seven. Did we just do this math? Eight plus, Eight plus seven? seven is fifteen. Fifteen. We just did that math, but in reverse. Beautiful. That's my turn. Cool, cool, cool. And then we're to the Zenus with the snake not looking great. Uh, you see I... bits and pieces of it just like falling off and stuff. Describe it as sloughing. Yes. Ooh, such a good word. <laughs> that means such a disgusting thing. It's I... so gross. <laughs> oh. You might consider it to be degloved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just for that. Uh, I think Zenus uh, twirls you so a lot me in a round and like a like. A decent sized diamond glints uh, from like an inset in one of them. And as he uh, kind of plucks a little melody, um, a bunch of different colors swirl around it until a beam of red shoots out of it as he casts Chromatic Orb. Venus, okay. um, when did you get iced out? Oh, I bought it back in town from a really weird <laughs> no man. Oh. He just sounds like ran something. I just put it in here. I thought it looked kind of nice. I like it. It is a good look. Uh oh. Uh oh. Post it again. <laughs> we'll wait for him to come back. Uh, this is a plus nine to hit. Okay. Uh, 16 to hit. 16 will hit. Okay. Uh, so that is 3d8 fire damage. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah. Chromatic orb. What a good spell. Mm -hmm. Um that is 13 fire damage. The stick inside the snake's mouth is immolated as it falls to pieces. And this combat is complete and you see as you as you dispatch the snakes you see another cairn on the side of the road. Huh. I'm gonna go smash it. Break it, bro. You smash it. You find inside. I'm gonna take a potion. So, uh, 10 gold coins. Oh. I hand two gold to each person. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ain't no thing. Ooh, 14 hit points back. Mm. Oh, Watch, we're all just cursed okay. now. Forgot to do a bit of that thing that I was going to do. I will. It's fine. Um... Cool, cool, cool. As 
you all continue on. Aunt Sally's name grows bigger and bigger on the map. You're getting closer and closer to where she is until suddenly it's not. I shake the paper. <laughs> As you shake the paper, continuing to crest over a small hill, you see a familiar sight to Zenus and Lilith. Yeah, it is. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> As a giant skull uh, comes over the hill. And over a little early. But I think we will pause for a quick 10 to 15 minute break right here. So, hi everyone. We're back, and I have my emotional support cat. Don't worry about it. Why do you need it? <laughs> Legally so obligated are, to tell. So us. you guys are going to hate me after this. It's fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> nar. Our nar clear. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're back. Hi, guys. Um, we've just crested over a hill to find a giant skull in the ground that both Glimmer and Zenus find very familiar. No, we don't. <laughs> wow. I wonder how big that thing was when it was alive. Probably about the size of the head. Let's eat. You know, not any bigger. That it's would just, be silly. Just a floating mm -hmm. head. I've seen one before. Yeah, I think we got attacked by one several times fairly recently. Well, uh, do we knock? As you get, you guys are about a hundred or so feet back, and this thing towers over even uh, that far back. Um, and you see some movement coming out of what is effectively the mouth. Castor, right. would you like to knock? Why? Uh, I say as a euphemism for breaking in. Oh, why do you say it so seriously? I'm a serious guy. You're no, you're not. I don't care. Listen, whatever deal you guys have with this witch, take it up with her. I'll be here to support, but this isn't my ordeal. Uh, yeah, you guys see familiar form emerge from the mouth of uh, the giant skull. What do you do? Aunt, Aunt Sally, you have some explaining to do. Get your ass out here. Please. Uh, I'm right here. What do you want? No, out, out here. I don't think so. You too you need, chicken? You need to send those kids that you took back home. Oh, I don't think so. It's not like you can refuse. Well, I mean, you can try, but you ought to split me in half and then, you know, add it up. By the way, horrible potter trick and very unflattering to do to any of your guests. Agreed. Mm. 
in doing that, I learned so much, like exactly what I needed to do to make my new sisters. You ruined the ones that you had. I found new girls. You stole them. They came willingly. I don't think so. I heard the music. You have That's to not... want to come. And how did you, did you give know. them candy too to manipulate them emotionally? I'm loading up my crossbow. Caster, <laughs> 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 oh, no. will you do your thing? Sure. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. We ball. We ball! <laughs> Once we take care of this, we get to continue on. Where is she? Is she outside or she? She's standing outside uh, uh, of the um, skull mouth. All right, cool. Is she in range? Uh, you guys were 100 feet. Were you getting closer? Yeah, we're getting closer. You were up. Jojo walk towards her as she's talking. <laughs> Give me a perception check. Oh no, I've been bad at those today. Nine. It's nine? the same cool. nine every nine. time. Cool, cool, cool. You get closer. I don't care. I'll just, just, just end there. this shit. It's not really... uh, but do, 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 do. Five to rage. Does... Whenever a creature hits you in the attack roll before you rage in, creature takes 1d6 force damage as magic lashes out in retribution. Good to have. Are we in initiative or am I just walking as, and raging? <laughs> as you get closer and swing your weapon goes through Aunt Sally. Damn it! Will the says, tricks never end? Oh no, no, no. That will not. Perhaps we will see each other again soon. She Listen, looks, you stupid fucking asshole. And she looks at Zenus. I hate this shit. Can you just come here and I can kill you? And she says, perhaps we'll see each other again soon, looking at Zenus, if you come home. But until then, you can have fun with my nappers. They were so useful in collecting the last piece I needed to awaken my new sisters as she no, no, vanishes. No, 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 no. This is another real... huge waste of time. As, as you hear Love it. ribbits and cropes coming from inside the skull. Can we see the real Aunt Sally or was it just, just a projection the whole time? Yes. Second. I can, the second, ugh. As the croaks come from inside, inside the house. <laughs> oh, lovely, a blood pentagram. Mm. My favorite. Let's <laughs> see if I can get this to do what I want. Nope, that's the snake again. Don't want that. I thought I had this ready to go. How can I do it? Well. Well, well. <laughs> Where is the thing that I want? Do, do. They are, in fact, not that big. Uh, as, yes, this croaking, gurgling sound comes from inside the cave, or inside the skull. Ooh. 
Oh, did I forget to clean out the thing? Needle Freedom. Okay. Um. Those are some big boys. Um. What's that? Just for like understanding, Melissa, she was here and teleported away, and that's why she disappeared off the map. Mm hmm. Yeah, you guys, you guys are, as you get closer, you smell this, that smell of ozone that happened when she had teleported the previous time as well. Um, but as you uh, go in, you do, or as you get closer to the entryway, you do see uh, the two uh, bander hobs and uh, behind them, you see the crumpled, two crumpled forms as well. Breathing. Unknown at this time. Um. There we go. Sorry. Um, I will do that. And this guy's turn. Oh, I know why, because I put them on the map slash background. That's why it didn't do a thing. Hey, look, now it has them. Neato Frito. Okay. Do. Why does it seem weird? Oh, this one's not supposed to be here. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so, Caster, you can do uh, your uh, attack against the Vanderhob that uh, was behind um, thing, and then we'll go into initiative proper. Uh, yeah, Reckless, it's a 24 to hit. That'll hit. With butt damage, a 12. 12 damage, okay. And you can do your second attack as well if you'd like. Oh. Another 24. Mm -hmm. That's... Uh, 11 damage. Cool. And then... It is the Bander Hopster. And uh, this one up front is going to Uh, bite at caster. Get a 22 to hit. That hits. He will also take six, uh, wait, six points of force damage from my rage shield. Nice. Uh, for 13 damage, have to six. And, uh, you are grappled. By the Bender Hob. Uh, the other one moves. You see it move this way into there's a shadowy area in the back. Uh, and as it hits that shadowy area, all of a sudden, uh, it pops up right here. And it is going to
Did I make that right? And we're back as the uh, Banderhob uh, bamfed down and went and stuck its gross ass tongue out its mouth towards Pippin. Uh-uh. And it, uh huh. As a tw- <laughs> for a twenty-seven to hit. Uh, I'm gonna lucky that. Roll again, Bucko. Uh, okay, okay. Ten. That does not hit. Ten. So it's about to hit me, but then suddenly I sneeze and I, it just pushes me out of the way. I thought you were gonna say you sneezed on the tongue and then the frog gets oh. grossed out <laughs> like, and he does it. <laughs> uh, and I'm just like, wow, that was really lucky. And then it's Pip's turn. That was rude. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh my god. Twenty, twenty-five, and I'm gonna fire my crossbow at the one next to Caster. Mm-hmm. I've rolled a one, one, two, two, three, and now a four. Whoa! For a total We're of doing of great. Eleven. Eleven. I'm gonna uh, lucky that too. Fuck it. Now <laughs> it's a six. I skipped five. <laughs> For a thirteen. A thirteen as your arrow sails through the air towards the one that has caster grapple. Um. It bounces off its tough leathery frog eyes. That's what I thought was. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. As a bonus action, I cry. Um, Crying's a free action, actually. Oh, yeah. Um, Actually, I'm going to land... I can't really hide anywhere. Okay, here, I'm changing my movement. So instead of going there, I'm going to go 5, 10, 15 to be around this corner, shoot at it, and then hide here. Pull up my little cloak. Oh, finally. Well, I did get my five, but the other one was an 18. I have advantage. So that is a 27 stealth. As I roll behind the wall. I am done. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It is now Sulia's turn, and Sulia is going to... Uh, cast Scorching Ray. That's exactly what she did. You're right. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I think two at the one that's holding Caster and one at the one that has tried to uh, grapple with the tongue. So first two are 18 and and natural 20. Nice. So, five. I did Wither and Bloom instead, but it's the same damage, it doesn't matter. 11, 16, 28 points of damage to the first one. Hell yeah. And then the second one that hasn't taken damage yet is a 19, which also hits for uh, four points of damage. And Sulia is gonna say, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, and run this way. Oh, 25 feet, there we go. And then we are to Zenus. Alrighty. Um. Uh, I think 
Zenus is going to, um, he'll do a third level shatter, okay. um, and stick it behind, um, behind the two, uh, what are they yes. called? The, uh, ba ba Vanderhobs. Ba 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 Vanderhobs. Um, cool. Uh, <laughs> hey. so- uh, yeah, um, <laughs> we'll say Zena sings that as he uh, casts that. So that's a DC 18 con save. They're probably hardy boys. <laughs> it's true. Uh, we'll see. A 14 and a natural one. Oh, oh uh, both fail. Uh, so that's four D8. So that one. Let's do this one. Um, garbage. Um, that is math. Uh, eleven. Thunder. Ugh. Oh man. Two ones. That's, that's unfortunate. Okay, and then it is Glimmer's turn. All right, I am going to do a Ray of Sickness on the Vanderhoff that's Grappling Caster. Cool, what does that mean? Uh, A Ray of Sickening Greenish Energy lashes out towards a creature within range. Uh, Make a ranged attack spell. On a hit, the target takes 2d8 poison damage and must make a con save throw. On a failed save, it is also poisoned until the end of your next turn. Neat. Cast it. Do the thing. Ow. 20 to hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, and 14 poison damage, and then it needs to make a con save. Neat. 15. Uh, my save is a 17. So it is poisoned until the end of my next turn. The end of your next turn. Neat. Anything uh, else? And then so that was level one. And I did two third level spells last time. So I need to be a eight. No, nine. Nine? I think it's a nine. Thirteen. That was so close to being a one. <laughs> <laughs> and then it is Caster who is grappled. This thing has bitten you, and you are like halfway in its mouth. It is poisoned. It's poisoned. So, uh, tip disadvantage when hitting things when you're grappled. I think that's just re- re- restricted. Restrained? Yeah, that one. Uh, um, you know, until the grapple ends, the target is restrained. Sorry. Oh. All right, I use my action to break free. It's a two okay. plus strength, four. Good turn. I stand here. I'm like, you know, I'm really not into Vor and I'm not into feet, but I guess this is what we're doing today, yeah. Ooh. Expand your horizons. I don't think I want to. <laughs> you really should give consent first, Panther Snaps. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Vor is still a no go for. Uh. Okay, I'm not sure when you went out again. Uh, but the Bander Hob bounced over to Zenus. Uh, 19, but got shielded. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, it's then going to attempt a bite. Okay. And only gets 14. So misses. that misses as well. And then it is Pip's turn. Um, well, I am going to shoot at this bander hob that's attacking Glimmer. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zenus and Glimmer. And I was hidden, so I have advantage. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Uh, That will be a 25 to hit. That'll hit. About to fuck the thing. Alright, so three plus four, so that's seven. Twenty-three points of piercing damage. Beautiful. Anything else? And I'm gonna scoop back here and try and hide again. Okay. One T seven. Yeah, you feel very hidden. Uh Sulia is going to um just do another uh scorching ray towards the one that swallowed Caster because you seventeen uh nine and and eleven. So one of those will hit for three whole damage. Was um. Wow. Uh, not good. I will. My options. I will do a. Caster is fully inside. Uh. And you know the skin, the skin's creature skin is very um durable. So yeah. we feel like not in danger from area of effect attacks. Great. Um I will Yeah, if that's the case, I'll do uh yeah, good of a time to do it as any. Um I'll do a fourth level. Uh, shatter to get both cool, cool. of these in, hopefully without injuring Caster. Um, so yeah, another DC con or DC eighteen con save. Fourteen for the north one and seventeen for the south one. Both fail. Um, nice. <clears throat> Five D eight. Don't uh, fail me now. Take this one out. Get this one in. Oh, much better. Um. Uh, twenty-three thunder damage to both. Uh, as. Uh, you send out this wave of thunder energy. Uh, Caster, you feel a rumbling as this creature collapses, and you are now standing prone on top of, or over the top of this guy. I hate this. Oh, leave. This is the worst fucking day of my life. I had a lot of really long days. Like <laughs> well, you know, every day can be a new worst day, Pipperin. <laughs> That's how bad things get. Anything else for Zenus? Um... I'll do a bonus action uh, to do uh, expend a bard ins- bardic inspiration to do unsettling birds at the one in front of me. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> just as I killed <laughs> that I heard one, I unsettling at- birds. <laughs> <laughs> tweet, tweet, motherfucker. <laughs> That's exactly what Zena go- does. As he, it makes no sense, but he says tweet, tweet, I'm motherfucker, as he kills the other one's brother. <laughs> And that is my turn. I'm ready to meet God. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, I'm mad. I just almost saw my bunny spouse get bored. Well, I did see them get bored. I but they almost, yeah. they almost died from <laughs> Uh, We're going to do an upcasted uh, fourth level ray of sickness on the surviving 
okay. froggy man. For a dirty 20. Mm hmm And Poisson. 24 damage, and it has to make Jeez. a con save. It yeah. failed miserably. Be poisoned. <laughs> it is poisoned. You nasty, nasty frog thing. You sit there and think about what you have done. It is now Caster's turn. I'm mad. I fucking come over here. Oh, I stand up and then I walk 10 feet and I hit it. <laughs> you just scooch. <laughs> I slide. I cha cha real smooth. Uh, does does an 18 hit? Oh, I'm sorry, uh, 19. A 19 will hit. Okay. It's gonna be 7, 7, 14 points of damage on the first hit. Okay. Next one, uh, what is up with these dice rolling doubles? That's so weird. 21 to hit. 21 will hit. And uh, how seven, does Caster want to do this? 17 points of damage. I just start, uh, I have a two-handed great sword uh and usually i slice i just start fucking stabbing this thing in the back like a bunch i'm like stick up this stupid fucking shit just wanted to kill a witch so we can get <laughs> out of here do something different you know that scene it. in a christmas story where ralphie's just beating the absolute <laughs> snot out of the other kid glimmer's like cheering at first <laughs> and then it just keeps going and she's like oh you're working <laughs> through something <laughs> <laughs> Just a two-handed stabbing um, with what is very clearly a piercing, uh, not a piercing weapon. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And... I sorry, it's dead. <laughs> you are killed. The, the banner hob is crushed to a bloody pulp as the fading laughter of Aunt Sally. <laughs> emanates through uh, this area. Um, Pepperin, what are you doing? Well, we gotta save those girls, don't we? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So are we, we see them right there? You see two crumpled figures. All right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I dash, and then as a bonus action, I dash again to get right up next to him. You, you see um, right there a... Hold on, where's my thing? Where to go? Where to go? A full-grown adult woman I check her pulse very very faint but that is all you can do I yell uh, yell about the faint pulse Sulia will 5 10 15 20 25 for movement um, oh, hold on a second. How does this work? Did I fix my? Nope, I did not fix my audio issues. We can still hear you. We can still hear you. I know. Okay. It's just the music stops playing when people talk. Um, and five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five as an action. She is going to cast. What is it called? There it is. Healing spirits on that one. We'll just use Here. this is the healing. 
that's going to chill right there. Um, now, get your tell the spell ends whenever you or creature you see moves into the spirit space for the first time on a turn or starts this turning there. You can cause does that. Oh gosh, does that mean she can cause it to heal this person right now? Um, I think it's when they enter for the first time, right? I'll look it up. Let's see. Um, until the spell ends, whenever you or creature you can see moves into the spirit space for the first time at a turn or starts its turn there, you cause the spirit to restore 1d6 hit points to that creature. It uh, starts its turn there, so it cannot heal to start with but it's on this thing right now uh and then we are to zenus um zenus will go in um he can get to there so we'll move in um if he sees Sulia's healing spirit out he'll um He'll try and throw a second level healing bird uh, to the other figure just to try and see if they'll. No idea if they have a pulse or not, but. It's faint. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh. At least I'd be there. Um, oh, wait, am I back now? You are back. So I haven't seen you okay. move in the in the roll twenty. So where oh you're going there? Oh, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. As I you... moved. Uh, I I dashed to get there. Uh, as you get up there, um, you see a fully grown dwarven male. Uh, that you do not feel a pulse. Ooh. Not good. Um, but Tip said he felt a pulse out of the other one. Mm -hmm. Um, in that case, I'll throw a second level of healing word at her just to like help stabilize her. Um, so that's uh ten points of healing. Uh, yeah, you, uh, send that, uh, to her and we will pop out of initiative, uh, now, um, that actually, I mean, she's a villager, so that healed her completely up, basically. Um, wait, 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 does anyone have any diamonds? Have we gotten any diamonds? I think so. What do we need diamonds for? Because this guy, he, I think he, he just died. So? Wait, I don't I think have it any. Is too late. People are in. Oh, no, people die all the time. Well, I mean, it's not. I would like to avoid it as much as possible. When did you care? I've always cared. I mean, it's a little disconcerting to see an innocent bystander killed out right here for no discernible reason. Are the girls here? You don't see any other movement. I can't believe we were head by her again. I'm gonna we go so and close. pat your back. Hey, if it makes you feel better, Whatever she was doing here, we probably stopped. As you look down, you see a blood-filled runic circle on the ground. You smell ozone in the air. I don't think we stopped it. She got away with the girls. That is so frustrating. At least we saved Owen. At least we have that. Yeah. And as you say that, um, 
the uh, woman. <coughs> she ca- sits up, coughing. Gwen, what is, what is going on? Who are you? Where's my daughter? Oh, who? you were hoping you would know. <laughs> we were... I was at home, and this thing grabbed me, and all of a sudden it was dark, and then I was here on the ground, and Gwen was standing over with a knife, then nothing again. Who's Gwen? My daughter. She was standing over you with a knife? Yes. So sh- they have to murder parents to become hags? That's a new requirement. Is it? I mean... Well, I think you have to murder someone, but last time it was uh, Olga in Bertha. But I think that was the issue, was that they... It wasn't someone they cared about. Last time, the Slods killed the Hags. Yeah. And it wasn't the actual... girls themselves. Well, what's happening? So you guys, so... Here's what I wanted to say. We stopped this mother from dying, so now we gotta use her as bait to get her daughter to come out. Oh. No, I don't think we want to do that. Why do you guys always shoot down my ideas? Well, only when they're bad ideas. <laughs> Which I think that these are your fault. A lot of them are bad ideas. What? I <laughs> I care about people fucking flying. Well, we'll make sure she's okay. Um, so but she's crying. Zeta... Look at it. Look at her. She her head's in her hands. She's she's yeah. She's fully like head in her knees. Like <sighs> eating that cookie. No, um, she's not Zeta's eating your cookie. What uh, rolled an investigation check to find a shiny um, object. And you do find a shiny object. And in that shiny object, you, let's see, do I need to, I might need to do a thing. I don't know if this is going to go for everyone. Why is it? Why is it being dumb? This is fine. There we go. Save. You see. Did that pop up for you? Oh my god. What happened? No, I closed all my stuff. I have a message. (laughs) That only you see in the mirror or in this in the reflective surface. So, <laughs> what do you do? Zenus wraps on the glass. Uh, and shortly after, the other you appears. Oh, thank God. That's, that's I'm trying. It's fine. <laughs> what? <sighs> what did you do? We, uh, well... We didn't do anything. We were, technically we rescued a child, but we also just lost two. Because okay, long story short, on Sally's, we think completed the ritual to turn two children back into hags, and to form her coven, and that has escaped somewhere in the Feywild. Yes, that would explain it. Um, Eric has been called for an emergency uh, thing with uh, uh, the other, oh god, what are they called? The other um, Aaron gun? like delegate people. The, oh, the, wait, I have that written uh, down. Wait! Not, not the, not the, um, not the council, but like, um, like the, the diplomatic, people? the diplomatic people, ambassador, uh, 
the uh, the uh, ambassador stuff. Uh, um, she Corpse. who is not named has. Yep. Uh, called for uh, called her, called her army to to uh, do something. We're not sure, but there's a situation that needs to be dealt with, and perhaps Aunt Sally now has a coven, and that's why everything's gone to shit here. Yeah, uh, that would probably explain playing a lot of things. Um, I mean, I just, I don't know what we can do on this side, and I don't, we got a lot of other things going on here. I don't know if we can make it over to the Feywild right now. We, well, deal with, I guess we'll have to deal with as as we can, um, but if you can get here, that'd be good, I think. Okay, I'll see what we can do. We, I mean, we're currently on the hunt for whatever happened to a missing coven of mages. I mean, not it's not the same coven, but it's a family friend. Well, not family friend. You know them, the mages in the wizard's tower. They all went missing. They hadn't come back from the no. convention. No, Dawn went ahead. And, I mean, we're trying to figure out what all is happening, but... <laughs> I think that's going to be our next stop if we can't get to. I mean, there's probably going to be something else too. I think there's a couple of other artifacts we're looking for, but I mean, the trail seems to be leading there. And then, I mean, I can try and see if we can find a fate portal after that, but. I, I, we mentioned this, uh, I told you this before, the, the uh, fate portals are. Something's wrong with them. They're closed, aren't they? Some something's something's happened. I mean, maybe I could find a way into Vesapsar again, but are we able to like see this conversation happening or does you, Lena you just look hear insane? yes? <laughs> <laughs> More crazy uh, than normal. Yeah, this absolutely. Fight finally broke you. You just see him looking, holding up a mirror. We <laughs> <laughs> had to shoot him. <laughs> Old age has crept up on him. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> to put him down. <laughs> <laughs> Look away, Jesus. You don't even know what's about to happen. Uh, the other, <laughs> others, <laughs> the other, Zena says some. Perhaps this is what she who must not be named is was preparing for. The Mini Glimmer said something about the Mini being not captured, but there was some other in the final fight against mm. um, Oh God! Um, uh, what's his fancy pants man? Um, Mister Mister Fancy Stewie. Pants. <laughs> Please, Mister Fancy Professor Pants. Professor Fancy father, Pants to you. Father. <laughs> I've actually graduated. I'm a Doctor Fancy Pants now. <laughs> um, well, in the fight against Curious Julie, wasn't there some outside influence? I mean, maybe that's what she was, must not be named like. Maybe she's under the same effect. Aunt Sally has something to do with that. I feel that. Aunt Sally sure is power hungry. Perhaps she's itching to... You know, think of a throw? Why else would she who shouldn't be named be so worried about her? Okay, well, um, okay, you deal with whatever you can over there. I'll, I'll try and figure what, out some way to get to you. I mean, maybe I'll have to go home first, and we'll see how that works out. Okay, we'll, 
do what we can. And as you, as you're looking at the other you, the colors seem slightly off. Like a little pale, sadder. Well, not pale, like dark, uh, uh, not paler, darker. Not quite as vibrant. Are you all right? I mean, things the, look... the whole of the Feywild is is like this. Looks so helpful. Nobody looks good. Everybody looks good in pastels. Nobody looks good and nobody looks good in these dark or jewel tones. Especially when they have a pastel bites. No, not at all. I mean, our hair just looks atrocious. I mean, you could do something about that. But sorry, that's that's petty. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll I'll try and find some way over there as soon as I can. Um we'll try and figure out what's going on with the majors. I mean, maybe there's something. Could the uh, the dull place, could that be seeping oh, out sorry, the into what place? the rest of the thing? The dull, boring dull? place? Oh. Could that be seeping that's out? Just, that's just like um, normal colors, not... Not whatever this is. Yes. This is like shadowy. Okay. Um, that's not good. Um, stay safe. I will. You too. I gingerly like set the <laughs> hand and mirror like silver platter <laughs> down as I turn around and I caress myself <laughs> just gently. I thought you were gonna say. And as I as don't want anybody <laughs> as just as this conversation is happening, <sighs> what is everyone else doing? Well, Glimmer is about to put me out of my misery. I think we established <laughs> that. Glimmer down serious stuff. I wasn't doing anything. Glimmer I... standing behind him with Pip and the crossbow, just like, oh, you're... <laughs> <laughs> and then Beam the kid with the gun, and he's like... <laughs> and what is, what is Pip doing? I personally, this is a dev thing, I just want to move on. Like, I, I want the story to progress more. I want like mm. uh yeah, I don't think we're gonna figure out anything else here, so let's pick yeah. up the lady and go back to the town. I think we need to just keep moving because there's been a lot of like going away from like what our goal is. Yeah. Yeah. I grab the lady on one shoulder and I pick up Zenos on the other shoulder. I'm like, come on, crazy, let's go home. I'm not <laughs> crazy. I can actually <laughs> hmm? should we take the body back? No, that's not our responsibility. Well, if we get here. back to town and we're all like, hey, it's that guy. Oof. Listen, Glimmer, sometimes people die in the woods and it's okay. I say with the one hand holding the lady. <laughs> <laughs> Glimmer, stand still. It happens. I'm going to put the body in the bag of holding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you open a baby pack to fit a full-size dwarven man in. They've got these really know wide well shoulders. We're going to go over with the townspeople if we just pull a corpse out of a bag, but what? I suppose it's better than nothing. Sometimes yeah. people die in the woods, and it's okay. You don't have to bring them home. They're not our responsibility. We have a witness. They're our responsibility. They died on our watch. No, we're didn't. doing this as we're moving back to town. Yes. He yes. died on his own watch. Get better, scrub. He was and... an innocent townsperson who was worried about his child. We should eventually. Let me tell you, if your dad's not strong enough to stop a hag from... <laughs> and as you continue on, you eventually Never do mind. make it back Failed. to town. Failed. Cringe. Uh, uh, once we get I... back into town, Zenos will bring up the uh, captain. Um, why do I never... Uh, uh, Addy. 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 Strong keg. Mm-hmm. Um, and just say, uh, found the parents, one's still alive, one's deceased. 
Okay, bring the, bring them here. On our way. And you guys make your way uh, to the guardhouse, and Addie takes uh, the woman who you find out is has it. She has a name. I made it up. Her name is. I made it up and I wrote it down, so I would have it. But the question is, where did I put it? Uh, Isabel Hundu. Uh, and you bring them to Addie and she says, we'll take care of it from here. What would you guys like to do? So now what? Do we go after Doran now? Oh, what else? The person I was talking to on the other side of the mirror is actually the other me. He said something's yes, going... everyone has their reflection, Zenas. No, I mean the other me. The one that's still in the Feywilds. The one that you knew. Oh! You two can speak to each other? Apparently. Anyway, he said things are bad in the Feywild, and uh -oh. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> <I'm stuck> on. <laughs> God damn it! I hate this. I hate my internet. Everything's bad in the Feywild, and everything's bad in the Feywild, and I would. At some point, I would like to go back, but I think Doran seems to be our highest priority. I mean, not our highest priority, but a priority we should probably deal with. So it looks so like we, we got to get to the next town that will help us fly over the mountains to get to where Doran's people were. So we're just giving up on Aunt Sally? It's just not worth not it? Not here anymore. Okay, here's my honest opinion. Seems like she has a vendetta out against you, you all. She'll show up. We don't need to chase her down. We can just ignore her, and then she'll throw a hissy fit, and she'll appear. Or she'll kill the version of me that's in the Feywild, since that's I'd where... Like to oh, did that. she go to the Feywild? Okay, well, yeah, then we don't have to worry about her kidnapping human children. <laughs> no, I mean... Feywild I think, kids are on their own. I mean, I think by the sounds... By the smell of it, it seems like her ritual to transform... The children into her fame. Her, her, oh, that's a bad word. Um, <laughs> I, I tried to say Faye, Faye and Hag at the same time. <laughs> off, I'll came be off. honest with you. <laughs> to be honest, I'm so sorry. I'll oh. be honest with you. I don't know those kids. And I don't know any of their families. So it's just like, I guess they just got to deal with it. You guys are rather cold-hearted. Well, we got our I mean, own stuff. We're... Yeah, we've got our own stuff to take care of. We've got our own people to look out for. We can't all be, you know, bleeding hearts. We got to save everyone we meet. It's not our job. Yeah. I mean, that's part of the color guard. The color guard does not do what you think the color guard does, my love. No, it's just like if Vincent is just going and doing stuff and you get to pick and choose each other. Anyway... Um, you gotta pay me for me to care. I had a personal That's investment in the works. things happening in this town, so now I'm just ready to move on until we find something else that we have a personal investment in. I will remind you, too, that Pip's dad is in that stone. Yeah, but he's an asshole. He can stay in there for a little bit. It's called Time Out. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Time Out for another 20 more years. <laughs> Did Pip share what like, the four ingredients were? You're the one that I told him. You, yeah. Oh, yeah. Zenus is the one that had those. I'm but, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. There was also... They seem like ingredients you can kind of just get generally anywhere. There doesn't seem to be like a specific place. So I'm just going to keep my eye out. Also, there was... Oh, God. <laughs> what was it? The... The... Bit about... Where was it? There was, oh god, I know how to find it. Um, the lost soul. Um, 
holds the key to. Oh God, I don't remember what it is. Where did it's not it's not in these notes for reasons. That's fun. But Zenas had the note or had the thing with yes. the lost soul. Yeah. So I'll find that another time. Mm hmm That made it seem like finding Pip's dad was important or stuff and such. Yeah. I found the four things, so we're we're good. I will mm -hmm. keep an eye out for it. I mean I think the only personal investment we really have left then is Doran and keeping up with him. So if we have no other things, Castra, I don't know if you wanted to do anything. With what? I don't know. You had there's that thing with the beefy half orc. No, we've already been over the shoes. Okay? Fucking Deb rolled a, I rolled a nat one for an insight check, and it made me, the player, admit that I don't like feet, and that's what the insight check did. <laughs> no. I, that's I meant, what happened. No, I don't like feet. If you talk about the bartender, that was a dragonborn. Don't no. like boar. No, the god, your former arch enemy that we went up against at the Olympic game or the games. I mean, yeah. wasn't there, there's a- My embarrassing Frog defeat, daughter. so I had to change no, careers. Not Frog daughter and his blue thing. His blue the, thing? The yeah. sword, whatever. Sword. Blue. Oh, d d d j b Joe Blue, what was his name? Dwayne and Blue. Dwayne and Blue. Was yeah, close, close. we still need more information on that, so. No, that we don't need. I've asked two separate half orcs, and they both said it, it'll just happen. You just yeah. find him. I, we just need to keep going after Dorn. That's it. We'll just wander around somewhere, and we'll find a, a gentleman named Dwayne wearing blue. I do a whistle <laughs> to call the horses, or at least my horse. <laughs> I'm going to hop up. And you guys uh, climb on your horses. And Dennis. That's that's part of what mm. what other Zenus said. Mm -hmm. So you guys hop on your horses and head out of town. And we're a couple of minutes short. But seems like a good as place as any to pause for the evening. So we will be back next week. Thank you so much for watching through all our technical difficulties. We Rip in peace, you guys didn't get to hear my very good multiverse bit. Yes. We greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that follow if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're so inclined. We'll be back on Wednesday with some Aeopolis. Have a great rest of your evening. We hope to see you back here very, very soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.